Is it wrong to try and pick up girls in a dungeon? That's the name of a video game that we're going to be taking a look at today, which is also based on a popular manga and anime franchise. Is it wrong to try and pick up girls in a dungeon sets up the premise rather well, with it involving lots of RPG-like dungeon crawling and a fair dose of fan service. The anime series was first broadcast in 2015 and is being broadcast internationally by Crunchyroll. That's not all Crunchyroll is doing for the English markets though. In a surprise move, the anime streaming platform announced that it will be expanding its operation into video game publishing and localization under a new brand called Crunchyroll Games. The first game that they'll be working on was then shortly after revealed to be the Is It Wrong To Try And Pick Up Girls In A Dungeon mobile game. Is It Wrong To Try And Pick Up Girls In A Dungeon is a rather big mouthful to say and so it is often officially shortened to Damachi with this being based on the Japanese name. The new mobile game is called Damachi Memoria Freeze and helping Crunchyroll with the English release is a company called Sumitomo with them both working together on the project. Memoria Freeze is available for both iOS and Android was released in Japan last June and over in the West only a few days ago on March 30th. It's safe to say that there was a lot of interest in this game, not only because it's based on a very popular franchise, but because this is the first Crunchyroll's game's title and fans were very eager to see how it would be handled. As earlier mentioned, the anime is quite fan surfacy and this caused some fans to wonder whether anything will be toned down in the game for the English release. Censored Gaming has countless examples on the channel of video games having suggestive elements altered when released in the West. It's worth pointing out though that the anime hasn't been toned down overseas and speaking to a fan over on Twitter, the English team confirmed that no changes will be made to the English game either. Despite the message only being a few days before release, this turned out to not be true however. The English versions of the game have removed something that was even advertised in English trailers. This being a feature in something called communication mode which allows you to poke the characters and have them react with different lines of dialogue. Here's a demonstration from the English trailer. <laughs> このコリュモードはアホニャ。開発者は何を考えてるにゃ?登場するキャラクターとお話しできるのにゃ?それだけじゃないのにゃ。お友よからどう?だって、だってできるのにゃ?やったー!そ、そんなことしていいのかにゃ